Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 16 of my Bar City Low League Management playthrough in Football Manager 2015. Today, we have a game in the league away from home against Western Supermare. Uh, they are 18th. This is a winnable game, most definitely. They actually have the worst goal difference in the league. I'm not sure if that means too much. Uh, I guess, let's see, what's their goal scored? Yeah, 18. Well, that's probably the worst in the league. So that's more their downside. I wanted to see, yeah, which was more poorer, I guess. Uh, they've still conceded a fair amount of goals. Uh, so they're a team that struggles to score. So I wouldn't mind, yeah, staying on my attacking formation here and trying to score. But the game after that, only two days later, it's Boram Wood. So oh, we've got to catch up to them. But that's a huge chance. That's a huge chance to catch up to Boram Wood. Really, really huge. And for whatever reason, yeah, it's not a cup game or anything. <laughs> the game after that, uh, there's Western Supermare again. So if we get a good result against them away from home, like win it, uh, yeah, could be another easy win, <laughs> maybe. Uh, but yeah, we do have a lot of games coming around, like this Christmas, New Year period, which you know what it's like because we've just faced that in real life. So uh, I know what kind of is coming. Uh, but yeah, set up the team. And Nick Makuti, I've dropped him out of the bench. He's been a guy coming off the bench, and he does have, does have a face now. Uh, if you missed it, I think I showed it in the last episode. He was just in the latest update. Nice little surprise. I don't know who's in the latest update. It just says, like, 3,000 new faces, and download that. Uh, but he hasn't... I haven't really given him a starting chance. You see, oh, he's like on, 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 on. He's a guy that's been coming off the bench. So you think I probably should give him a starting chance because he does look all right for this level. you got to be honest. But the problem is the strikers we do have right now. You're not going to be dropping David Pratt. Even though he's going, whoa, well, okay, he's going down in training. What's up, Dave? You're only 27. You can't be decreasing yet, David. You're only 27. Come on. We need more goals from you. He's got 21. You've got to be happy with that, though. Um, Jordan Palmer Samuels. He could be our new superstar. You can see he's come in, scored three goals. Uh, it's not like he is taking too much time to gel with the lads. Like He's coming in right away and scoring. That is something I like. He's only 20 as well. Ex-Arsenal youth player, as you know. Uh, scored three goals in a row there. So, um, then he picked up that injury, so he didn't score in the last game. Uh, but he looks good. Uh, looks like he's... Uh, Fitting in with the lads well, as I said. So, he could be a very important player for us going forward. You can see with his potential, four-star potential ability with that dark stuff or the fifth one, which it means his maximum potential. Uh, does it say it here? No, it just says one of the, the potential be one of the best players at the club. But I remember when I got the scout report on him, it said a good League 2 player. And that's from better judgment as well. So, that, hopefully that's pretty correct as we'll go in. We'll play Chris Allen on superb morale. I remember he started the season amazing, but then he dropped off. Uh, so he needs some match fitness, and he's on Suburb Morale. So he should do the job for us. Anyone else? Uh, an artist in there. Adelsbury coming back in. It's a pretty solid lineup, and I've offered some contracts to some players. So you might see after this game I play, some players might accept contracts. I've got to be smart about that as well. Yeah, we've got 200 extra uh, per week. So I want to allow that to offer contracts. So, yeah, I don't want to be signing anyone else. So we might go in the red. We might anyway when offering new contracts. Uh, and, yeah, I'm still... I'd uh, love to see who you think I should offer new contracts to and who should I not and all that kind of stuff. But, see, this is the thing. <sighs> we must be doing pretty badly in the eyes of the media to not be favourites for these kind of games anymore. Because they're near the bottom. <laughs> they're struggling to score goals uh, and at home. So, we've got to push on and they're playing the five. I'm not surprised they're struggling to five um uh, score goal, sorry. I was going to say, yeah, five in midfield, defensive 4 5 1. So, like, you think they would want to change something because it's not working for them, but obviously they're sticking to the same thing. But that's a good thing for me. I'm glad to see that because it's obviously not working for them. They're not scoring many goals. So, uh, yeah, I'm confident going through this game. We've been on a bad run. And, like I said in the previous episode, like the title. I want to start winning some consecutive games again. I miss that. Don't you miss me just dominating opponents? I feel as though the player's confidence uh, has been lacking, but it could be a, like that poor form started when we were playing a lot of those cup games when it was really hitting us in terms of fitness. Oh, JPS! Oh my God. But yeah, I don't, but I love those cup runs. It gave us more money, so I'll take it any day of the week. 
to have that because we're still in a pretty strong position. There's still a very good chance we can get promoted this season, even if it isn't through automatic promotion. Like I said, I'll be confident in the lads to yeah, beat out other teams in a kind of a knockout competition like I've done in cups, in cup games so far. So, yeah. I'd give my, usually, like I said in previous episode as well, I'd usually not be confident about that, but these lads, I don't know. There's something about this club uh, that I feel will be confident in doing that. I remember last year, I lost it on penalties. That was so, yeah, that was so frustrating. But those things happen. Okay, it's Grub. What is he going to do? And Dan Ball, good tackle. Got to offer him a new contract surely as well few players now it's Harris is on Harris and maybe I can see why they're not scoring many goals when they have a good chance they completely stuff it up so yeah well done come on Arthas launch it forward here we go JPS what is he gonna do whoa <laughs> was that serious that's the worst shot I've ever seen from that kind of range wow I don't think he wanted to score it just went directly out not even close, JPS. Come on. Aggressive. I'm not happy with the performance. Come on. Second half. I expect you to come out firing. This needs to be a win. I still have my eyes on that automatic promotion. we just got to be within range until all these cup games finish. And we'll have a chance. Because don't forget, we knocked uh, Boram Wood out of the FA Trophy as well. So they're not playing that anymore. Uh, we knocked them out. So we can, yeah, we we could show we are the better team by beating them. Come on, Pratt. But here we got to focus on this game, yeah? Look at all the space here. And they're supposed to have five in midfield. JPS! Oh! JPS, how did you not score that? We've had a couple golden chances in this game. And I suppose they have too. Come on. Stern is apparently injured. I reckon we're going to take him off. But who are we going to bring on? We don't have many rotation right midfielders. We're going to have to bring on Jonathan Hunt, who's not really pacey. He's going to struggle in that kind of position. But he's got 14 crossing. So the, we don't have many wingers with that kind of crossing ability. So last time I remember someone saying that, like, why did you put him at winger? He's so slow. But he's got 14 crossing. He can just whip those crosses in. Even compared to a Ross Stern, he's got 10 crossing. That's like average for this level, but 14 is insane for this level. Uh, we're going to bring oh, Samuel. We'll leave Pratt on. Just change his position, but yeah, uh, Palmer Samuels. I reckon if he's going to not perform, we're not going to call him JPS anymore. To have a, that, that kind of name, uh, you're going to have to be quality but anyway Chas Hemmings he's been out for a while had that injury yeah getting him back slow and of course he's an impact player he has that a part of his game the aerial ability he's got for that 14 jumping reach is pretty solid he's not the tallest player in the world but with that and a bit of strength he wins a lot of battles in the end he's pretty quick as well 12 pace is pretty good with 12 acceleration and we'll just do two for now no oh, no nah, I was thinking about to push up the wingers but I shall decide against that uh, because, yeah, Jonathan Hunt wouldn't be able to play in that role. So we'll just say I have faith in him. And also Chas Hemmings, I have faith in you. He looks the happiest out of the two with that reaction. And we'll see if he can make an impact. Obviously, Target Man is clearly his best role with that aerial ability. Come on. Team talk. Assertive. Push forward. We'll say it through that avenue at least. And we'll go overload. And we'll change some instructions. Where are we? Instructions. Uh, go route one. Pump the ball into the box. Is there anything else that's yeah attacking based? I'm not really sure. Shoot on sight, of course, to take your chances. I don't know. Higher tempo? Yeah, moving the ball quickly. We'll try and do that. And we'll see if that makes any change whatsoever. I think we have one more sub available, don't we? Yeah, one more. Jordan Sherman. He's talented, of course, being on the books of Swansea City. Um, a young youth player in the Premier League. So, in the Premier League. He's not going to be playing for Swansea, of course. But, yeah, in the youth team, he's he's got talent. He's got talent. Especially, like, for this level, at the very least. 
He's a guy that has quality passing ability. We're going to bring off Chris Allen because, of course, Adelsbury might be good from a penalty if we get one somehow from a free kick, long shot, as you know, yeah, especially long shots. Or sh Ooh, I don't really do this too often because we don't... I suppose we could because Sherman could play, but he's natural as a centre mid as well. Might change to advanced playmaker. On attack. There we go. And maybe just change Adelsbury to more support role. Just, yeah, there we go. And fullbacks on attack. Like, yeah, this team doesn't score many goals. We might as well go for it, really. So, yeah, I changed all those things. I reckon that's all I can do. <laughs> or not all I can do, but that's all I believe I can do. I, I think those are the changes we could make to have a chance. If they show a highlight, please. We made the according changes. There should be a chance. But it's for them. Oh, that doesn't make sense. Really? I thought I made good changes. And then they get a set piece goal. Their first shot on target for the game. Uh, that's annoying. Who was that against him? It's Artis. Why is a left midfielder on him? Oh, this is... This is not working for me. <laughs> oh my god. Are they going to get another? I don't really care because we're not going to win. What the hell? How did we lose this? We had five shots on target and they had one. Wow. It's just not clicking for us of late. You saw from the stats. We had enough chances ourselves. JPS had a few. We could have took the lead. Been more responsible after that. Not gone attacking. And we could have got three points there. But that just something's not clicking we're not taking our chances and then obviously that happens so here i've looked for a goalkeeper on a free transfer and i have found simon Locke. he's got a great current ability four star and five star potential ability uh, he wants to join as well like everything looks good for a signing he's got potential ability to be a good sky bet league two goalkeeper in the future but for me, he's going to be a signing for next season. We're going to have to leave that signing until a bit later because we already have a goalkeeper and we're struggling. Like, that will bring me into the red of the transfer budget. And I can't adjust this, can I? It's already lowest in terms of wage, as you can see. So, And I've got to offer contracts to my current players, so we're going to have to see that situation, how it pans out. Maybe I can lower wages on some players, but that's definitely hard to do. Uh, yeah, this guy will be a great signing. He's good enough for this level. He'll be a leading goalkeeper. That's what we need. He's much better than our current keeper. So I'd love to get him. Leave your thoughts. He's probably the best available with that report. So yeah, hopefully we can sign him at some point, maybe next season. Uh, we'll see how that goes anyway. So here it says Gallinar could depart Bath. It says we may have to find a replacement. Um, has six months, uh, six months left in his contract. Anything? Yeah, he hasn't really said anything, no. We'll just, you'll try it from a contract. See, he wants more than he's currently getting. This is where I got, and he's got promotion wage rises. Whoa. I'm not sure if we can afford to do that. Avoid relegation, which we will do. So I don't want to be giving him free money. No. A new sub, basically, he always starts. Uh, goal bonus, rarely scores. He scored one, yeah, one time, but yeah, very rarely. International cap. He probably knows he won't get that, so I'm not sure how much that will do. But either way, I might put clean sheet bonus, like a bit of motivation. <laughs> to, uh, we'll do that like 250. Because yeah, usually we concede goals, as you've been seeing. and Because I want to drop his wage like below what he's... I know, it's probably not going to accept. Wage after reaching international appearances. Like, I'll make that so high because he'll never play five games. Even though, yeah, 500 the maximum. How come I can't... Okay, that's weird. I could change it like that. Um... Okay, that accepts. 
Uh, a bit sneaky there, adding all these yeah, international appearances things. But either way, just got him yeah, 25 more pounds per week. Uh, but he's been really good for us. We need to offer him again. See, that's what I'm going to have to do with quite a few players. Um, I'll see what will happen with the current ones I offer. And then you'll see those. But for now... Yeah, I've got to work on defending positioning. I was actually working on defending set pieces uh, going into that Western Supermare game. So I was surprised I conceded from a corner. Obviously, you saw that. I got a bit frustrated because I, I thought I could have had a chance after making those changes. But that's football. So again, it's another situation for contracts. This time, uh, Frankie Artis... Uh, it's the same. He's not complaining or anything. You just see it once on your contract pretty much. But again, he wants 500. But is he that good? Is he that good? Oh, it's, it's hard to say. He's had a good season without a doubt. But I don't feel he just dominates for us or something. Yeah, I don't know. I've got to look at potential options for next season. Like, I don't want to secure a lot of players with new contracts. And they, then they might just rest on that. And they won't perform. They, like, I want them to perform to get a new contract. That's what I want right now. And hopefully that that's something that will happen more. But, oh my god, look at all these conditions. I'm going to have to, yeah, do a quick pick and maybe they'll change. Yeah, Frankie Artis. He needs a little break, surely. Do, John. Bring him on instead. See, the assistant, after doing a quick pick, they've dropped David Pratt. And bring Noah Keats. No way. I'm going to go now. Nah, my suggestions. David Pratt in. Makuti. But should I give... Bring Pratt. Yeah, Makuti target, man. Palmer Samuels. He's on poor. I'm going to rest him. Uh, he missed a few key chances. Bring Chas Hemmings back onto the bench. Mm, yeah, morale's dropping a bit, especially after that loss. Dan Ball was dropped. and Might as well play Chilwell. He's on loan for a reason, so we might as well play him. Um, again, see, my assistant would rather play this crap young goalkeeper instead of Malor. Or should I do that? Should I do that? What? He's got 11 reflexes, 11 handling, but only two one-on-ones. And Malor has 12 handling. He's got better communication, though. I might as well try it. We'll see. You got it sometimes. And Yeah, Phil Walsh, I'm going to be... No, I don't want him in the team. I don't want him there. Where's our other centre-back? Who do we play? We play Ward and Gallinar, don't we? Where's Gallinar? Why is he in central midfield? They completely ruined my team. <laughs> so you see how much the difference is. Bring Junior English. Remember, yeah, Junior English was part of that. He was playing whilst we were dominating. Bring Jonathan Hunt on the bench. Can play wing and centre-mid positions. But wow. Yeah. Just a lot of changes. Pacquiao out. No way. We'll bring on Ross Stern onto the bench. Might bring him right mid if Stevenson's not doing anything of notes. But yeah, that's... i got to leave it. i got to leave it that way. I think, yeah, that has to be... How long until next game as well? But then it's like, yeah, three or four days later. Oh, then a game three days later. We need to perform. Come on, lads. Need to be seeing much better, and I'm not really confident because all these, yeah, conditions are low. We have to rotate. I'm just hoping they are in the same situation. They should be. They should be in the same situation, like low conditions and whatever. So we go aggressively. Expect nothing but a win. But it's more so, yeah. I need to. I need to see more. But I want to go to stats to see how they're looking. So they, yeah, they're in the same position. They've got low conditions and that, so it'll be equally as hard for them, but it's more so we've been on poor form. So we'll see how it pans out. We'll see if we can beat them again. If we could beat them twice, like, I reckon we could show that we are the better team, but they'll still be first. Come on. Win it back. Waratay finds Montgomery. What is this rubbish? This is frustrating me. Wow. And I don't like changing tactics mid-season. Mid and you probably know that from my videos. Because I might screw it up even more. 
that's what I'm scared of. Like, there's proof of this tactic working really, really well. I don't want to change things and then completely stuff it up to a crap tactic and... Yeah, but we conceded right away. Come on. Oh, just horrendous passing, really. Makudi does well to win it back. Come on, score now. Adelsbury. He's in the s support role for a centre mid here. Win it back. And now they give it away. Both teams, yeah, not playing very well early, even though they scored. Pratt! He would have scored that a couple months ago. I don't know what's happened. It's just the confidence of the players. How do you fix the confidence of these lower league players? And make them take the chances. Because they're not doing that right now. Man, it's so frustrating. Show me something else. Come on. Because I don't want to get too frustrated that I don't want to play this anymore. Because I, I, I love this so much, Par City. But, yeah, losing is just the worst thing in Football Manager. Not just losing a game. I can take losing a game. But just, just poor performances over a course of time. Regardless of my league position. <laughs> like, we'll get our expectations for sure. Like, I just won't have enjoyment playing it. Because we're just not, we're not taking these chances. Come on. Cohen Hewton. There's not much you can do, really. We need to score a goal. Makuti. Playing Prats. What is he doing? He should have had two goals here. Oh, my God. What? How crap are you? You can't even take a corner, do John. Far, man. You're crap. I mean, there's crap, and then there's you. Far. Adelsbury as well playing badly. We'll bring on Jonathan Hunt. We'll bring on Stern for Stevenson. Sure, we are playing a lot of bad players here. Man, Pratt, come off. I don't know what's happened to you. Boom, target, man. But wow, I am really, I'm shocked here. The way we are playing is not good at all. Can Dujon play left wing? Yeah, he can, but he's going to be crap most likely anyway. It's so frustrating, man. Even Hunt. It's... Attack? What's his best role? Advanced playmaker? Okay. That's why I changed it in the last game, but it's a different player, so... We'll see how it goes either way. But come on. Change fullback to attack? Okay, this is weird. I have this strange feeling that I'm going to concede a goal from a set piece. From a corner, specifically. <laughs> like what happened in the last game. Ah, uh, come on. Like, making the almost exact same changes apart, yeah, team instructions-wise, because that didn't do anything good, so I'm not going to do that again. Didn't create any chances at all. We'll leave it how it is. We'll go team talk, though. We'll go passionately. We'll say... I don't even know. Demand more. Definitely. Definitely need to see more. Well, surely there'll be something in the last 30 minutes, without a doubt. But will it be anything of substance? So, 10 minutes. Okay. Come on, Gallon. No, no, don't stuff it up. Fuck, oh, man. That's after I offer you a contract. That's what I mean. After I offer them a contract, then they just... They settle. They've like, I've got a contract, yeah, for the next year, so. Man. <laughs> We're hitting that frustrating time, without a doubt. Come on. Hunt. Stern. Do John. Makuti. Fuck you, cunt. How crap are you? And I'm not just you specifically, the whole team. Man. It's not like we're not, we had 20 shots in this game. We've had 20 shots. Are you all serious? Whoa, man. I'm sorry for getting frustrated, but it's frustrating for me. Galena! Yes! I can't, oh, it's offside! Fuck! Done! Bye! I'm done!
I am so done. What is this? Come on, man. Shoot! Makuti! Oh! Whoa! Is it against your religion to hit the back of the net? Seriously! Oh my god. Well! That was entertaining for all the wrong reasons, wasn't it? Oh, nah. I'm gonna have to go hiatus on this bar save right now. Even though you, you look back, you you have a think about of where you are for your expectation. We've got mid-table expectations. But we're just, we're not playing well. Even when I win, it's not. We've got three losses in a row here, so I don't know. Like, oh... I don't want to throw. I don't want to throw away this tactic. There's something special there. There's some, no doubt. That I have to. I must have had something right. I didn't change. It's the same tactically. It's just the players. They're just. No, I'm, I can't be bothered explaining it. To be honest, or trying to understand. I'm just going to end this. Play something else. Play some Manchester United. You know I'm going to get wins there. So you'll probably see that up upload a bit more. Anyway. That was this. Leave your thoughts on it, and I'll see you guys next time.